Danke. All right. So let's start about well, what, what is LAC? What is the Linux Audio Conference for all the people that are here that haven't really uh, done one? <laughs> <laughs> this is basically like a short rundown in a way, at least the way we understood it. Um, it's well, obviously a not-for-profit and non-stationary conference uh, that is revolving about around all the things that are pro-audio on Linux. And um, the non-stationary aspect of it is, is kind of nice, but at the same time it, it gives really um, a lot of troubles to the people that are organizing it, and we're going to come to that later. Because um, if you have a non-stationary um, uh, approach, then everyone will have to do s di uh, things differently each time, or they might have to do that differently, depending on uh, who they work with. Well, it's also about paper presentations, obviously, because the LSE is c kind of coming from that a academic background, and we have... So many nice developers, as we've seen yesterday. It was uh, just super awesome to see all of you guys give talks about all the things that you do. And um, that is what LEC is all about, in a way. Uh, at least half of it, I guess. Because uh, developers meeting users and developers meeting developers is, well, I guess the biggest part, in a way, in the music, obviously. But still, that is a very important aspect of it. Um, we have software presentations like yesterday um, that just show new features, that show new approaches in um, ways of doing things. Um, we have workshops um, to further, I don't know, uh, show people how to work with software, uh, how to do things on Linux. And well, if you if you come from a Windows background or a Mac OS background, you might find it kind of Oh well, a multitude of things can can be done to do the same thing in a way. <laughs> so uh, that might feel a little overwhelming for people. Um, that's why we also have tryouts, and that's pretty cool. As we've seen yesterday night, that people just I don't know bring their toys, bring their tools, and uh, jam together and well do their thing. Um, well, that is that is the front part of it, obviously. <laughs> That's what you guys see when you come to an LAC. But what it really involves is, is well, all the work that you you have to do in uh, well uh, making this happen is finding a space or finding an institute to host you, to give you the space, give you well even the funds if you're lucky. Um, we're gonna uh, switch. Okay, um, this might sound better. We'll see. The microphone's a bit hissy today. Um, well, you definitely need to find the the partners, the proper partners to do this. If you if you don't manage to find the proper partners, then well, you I don't know will do a lot of work on your own. <laughs> um, well, you you have to obviously decide on on the amount of things you want to do or you can do with that uh, space that you have available, and um, well, if in luck, you might even find sponsors <laughs> um, that are willing to to pay for uh, certain amounts of it, and um, it's definitely a big part of it. Um, we have um, well this whole issue of reviewing the submissions, and that's not only papers; it's lectures, it's workshops, and installations, and live music, and so on. It has to be put into some form. It has to be uh, well, kind of organized to make it run in certain spaces. Um, I'm going to come back to that later concerning this space, which is um, a bit different because of our approach um, that we chose to do yet uh, this year. Well, you have to uh, get all the required hardware and uh, depending on if you have that stuff available in your own institute that can be quite easy or it can be a real pain to get this kind of stuff and uh, well you, most of you already know <laughs> like video equipment and so on if you if, if that's not available then then you're really screwed in a way and you have to do a lot of things to get this um, well and obviously if you want to do uh, well, concerts, then uh, you have to find spaces for those if you cannot host them yourself. Uh, we're switching back. Now with fresh batteries. That sounds way better. Cool. 
and obviously you have to do the, the well the, the fronting you have to do the 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 PR for for the whole thing and that cannot be underestimated because it's it's really a, a big uh, amount of work and that has to be done and has to be well it has to be done consistently in my opinion and that's one of the major setbacks that LEC is involved in in a way because of its non stationary approach it really has this pitfall of well not having a consistent front to all the things which yeah can be quite bad and then you have to answer all the trillion emails for questions and things you know people will want to know what kind of stuff do I have to bring uh, what kind of mixer do you have avail available and so on and so forth and it, it just never ends actually <laughs> um, well and in the end what oh yeah I see uh, in the end you have to pay the bills you have to pay the rent the insurances etc etc and um, yeah depending on if you have an institute behind you you might find that quite easy uh, if you do that on your own or if you do it with a well kind of a, a group of volunteers that's not so easy actually it's uh it's really hard to get funds for stuff or think about how to get them afterwards and that's uh yeah well so we come to mini luck <laughs> welcome to the pain um <laughs> no, you have to switch it on not all pain yeah um well, last year when we went to uh, LAC in Mainz um, that Albert so nicely uh, did, um, we were so enthusiastic about it. We were like, oh, great, that's, that's such a nice event. Wow, damn, that's really good. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm working at the TU of Berlin and uh, I, I remember, oh, in 2007, there was someone that was really doing a good job back then, right? I mean, that can't be that easy, right? I mean... But still, if you have, a, you know, a, comp a company or, or a, a big uh, university behind you, you, you can do that. You can you can easily manage to do that. And um, well, yeah, that's um, what we thought. And so we nice. tried to get <laughs> the TU aboard. And initially, that was kind of oh yeah, oh well, sure, we can we we would uh, we would be into that. I mean, why not? Uh, it's interesting. We had that before, and you know, sure, if you if you want to do most of the workload, that's might be fine. And and uh, but they had like this one condition. Well, I mean, we cannot really host the the concerts. How, how do you? How about you? You get maybe the the University of the Arts aboard, so we can um, have them take care of the concert venues and so on, and maybe uh, share the workload, which is a good idea actually. So, um, yeah, I got in touch with these guys too, and uh, so it was like a, a long back and forth, and, um, well, luckily for us, we also had uh, a bunch of people that have been here yesterday, Wright and I, and uh, Daniel are part of it, and it's, uh, well, it's Linux Audio Berlin, and this kind of happened because of the last LAC, a bunch of people meeting from Berlin and just thinking about, oh, well, we could just do a meeting group here and talk about stuff and so uh, well we discussed this topic too and um, some people were quite quite really into it and we're like oh cool yeah let's do that I mean if, if a university is into it we can we can easily do this um, so yeah then we got in touch with the LAC team mailing list for uh, managing the whole thing and uh, well it's a shared mailing list of all the former organizers that basically share information or, or at least uh, talk about whatever they are do working on at the moment and they discuss who is the next LAC, basically. And um, back then it was kind of a back and forth between, uh, well, I think, Stanford and Berlin and London and, and um, uh, kind of <laughs> everyone had to, uh, well, play the postpone game in a way. We, we had to all be, oh, well, I'm not quite sure yet, and my institute is not really, you know, they, they are kind of up for it, but I have to, I have to really ask them, and we have to do some more meetings, and blah, 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 and it, it just takes a long time. If you're involved with an institute, it's, it's not like, oh, yeah, sure, here's a check. 
um, they're more like, uh, yeah, okay, we're going to meet, then we have to discuss, and we have to find out who's going to be involved, and so on. And so it really takes a long time to do that. And so if you're in, involved with the university, it's it's just taking a long time to do this, and, and it's painful. Uh, that's why we all had this kind of, I think, postponing going on on our sides. Everyone was like, oh, well, uh, I can maybe tell you in like two weeks and so on and so forth. And <laughs> well, um, initially, uh, well, I wasn't really uh, too worried about this. So um, we, we were all like, oh, great. I mean, if, if Tiu is kind of kind of on board and, 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 and the initial um, response from, from UDK, the University of the Arts, was really, really positive. They were like, oh, great, man, <laughs> we're definitely into it. And <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we we were like, okay, cool, we can do this. Yeah. Let's uh, just just uh, host this, like share share host li uh, this at TU and Udika, and uh, yeah, that's what we tried. But uh, well, <laughs> then the the planning and failing uh, fa philosophy basically started, <laughs> and um, well, the, we we had the technical university dropping out, and they were like, ah, oh, well, no, that might be too much work. Well. Uh, Maybe the guys from UDK, they will kind of, you know, maybe work on it if you were lucky. And then they just went backwards out of the room <laughs> without saying anything anymore. That was not too nice. Um, well, this happens, but this also led to, you know, uh, endless discussions about this topic. And, uh, well, this also led to some people in the, in the user group being kind of madly annoyed by the whole topic, I guess, and be like, Oh, this again. Oh, is this, is this meeting again about Minilag? Oh, or Linux Audio Conference? Can we skip this maybe? Or just talk about music maybe? And well, that's, uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely a way to annoy people a lot if you want to do a conference. It's easy. So, um, yeah, we're deciding back and forth. And Riot might share some information about the ETA, I think. It might be interesting to talk about this for a sec as well. Yeah, we try to um, cover costs for more area by getting to uh, involve sponsors and uh, also try to, to get funding from uh, cultural funds in the city. Both failed miserably. And we also reserved, pre reserved the, the, the same area on the upper floor. So double the space, we could go bigger. And then had to cancel that. And people were really de dis disappointed and depressed. Hmm. Well, uh, then we got the, the video operation crew back on board. They were kind of uh, hanging in between and were asking us, what's, what's happening? Are you going to do this or not? And yeah, we, we decided to scrap the sponsor model and just do it on our own. Just scrap all the costs and everything that might be uh, unfeasible. And then got the rock on board back. So, uh, oh wait, you, you, you're moving ahead. I think too far. Yeah, yeah, but we we're sorry <laughs> if I interrupt here. But basically, before this all happened, and we, we had this nice model thought out, and we're like, oh cool, we can you know get the guys uh, above and 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 uh, rent the rooms and so on. Well, we obviously had to find sponsors for this, and this was not as easy as we thought initially. We were like, oh. Well, we can do this. I mean, sure, Berlin is full of, you know, nice companies that are really interested in audio and stuff, but no one's really interested in Linux audio. That's the problem. Uh, they're all, you know, really focused on their products. And that's basically one Except of the issues. Except for very few of them. Very few. That's very we few. We made a list. I actually went through the whole music messy list of... Uh, um, exhibitioners and uh, it's it's a nice list but mm, nope nothing so yeah this basically meant we were kind of deadlocking on finding sponsors versus, versus announcing the thing because without sponsors you, you cannot really do this at least in, in the initial uh, well plan that we had of, of renting upstairs and additionally to Seabase and that was just not feasible to do that just on our own, just like paying a couple thousand euros and be like, okay, yeah, sure, <laughs> let's do it. And uh, well, never mind the sponsors, they're going to come, kind of, hopefully. So yeah, you have to have this kind of, um, well, backup, otherwise you're really screwed. So this, um, yeah, led us to a lot of pain. <laughs> and um, as Wright already mentioned, waiting for Hauptstadt Kulturfonds is just one of those. And, and they were just... Well, 
they, they, they have these fixed deadlines and you, you submit stuff and then they make you wait for half a year or a year or whatever and then, uh, well, they just drop you uh, without saying why actually and it's, it's just like, uh, well, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so we really learned the hard way that, well, universities might or might not be too interested in, in um, free software or art for that matter, it really depends. Um, some departments, you can really get a board on this, but others are like, yeah, sure, might be interesting, but, and then the whole iteration of things that you have to do well starts, and that's... Um, a lot of companies are using Linux. It's not that they ignore it, but mostly they use it in their web departments. It's a nice web server for them. <laughs> so, yeah, that led us to basically well, wanting to cancel the luck and just be done with it because it was so painful. It just uh, took us already like like this, this one plan. Oh, yeah, sure, let's do it with the universities. And then we moved further to the sponsoring uh, well, idea, and that also kind of failed and miserably failed because we're not, you know, we're not sponsoring people. We're not really PR people, but that's the kind of people you need basically for this, uh, well, way of doing the conference. If you're not doing it with a university, because then you have people for doing stuff, or you can at least uh, get funds for it. Luckily, sometimes, not always, obviously, but uh, yeah. Well, we offer like, uh, well, cancel this. But Riot, Riot was so optimistic. Riot was awesome. Riot was like, well, we still have Seabase. They, you know, let's just do it here. I don't care. <laughs> let's just make it, you know, make it smaller and uh, just s skip all that stuff that is a lot of work, you know, all the, all the well, submission and, and so on. Let's just, you know, give the com community basically the, the possibility of, of doing this on their own. Let, let them just decide what they want to do. Let them decide. Uh, when and where they want to do it, uh, well, apart from obviously. Uh, one point that also motivated me for this approach was that Seabase already managed quite some conferences on board. We also rented the other apartments or, or, or rooms you, you could use. And then you can actually host uh, up to 300 people easily. And um, yeah, I thought, let's do it here. We can do it for free more or less or with the Seabase as donation because the space lends itself to these events I thought what the heck let, we can't do certain things anymore because the time was already quite uh, progressed but the basics of a conference yeah we can do that I was optimistic absolutely and I think we're all here it's a, it, it went it went well so next point um, all right yeah, but I mean, still, there, there are like certain standards kind of to adhere to. <laughs> if you're thinking about uh, Linux Audio Conference, there, there's, I don't know, there, there's like the, the things that you want to have, the things that you kind of, that people expect when they come here. They, 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 they want to kind of, you know, see, see, see you guys. And they, they want to, I don't know, they want to have the, the tryouts of, of stuff. They want to jam, they want to just hang out and... I think, in a way, it is much more uh, a relaxed happening as it is right uh, this year than, than it was last year or, or possibly even the year before because it's it's very small, it's just very loose some, in, in some sense. And, uh, well, I hope we still manage to adhere to some of the standards <laughs> that there are. <laughs> there are no standards. Make it expectations. Expectations, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I mean, the standards is more with a winking eye in a way. It's uh, um, still uh, yeah. <laughs> open standards. <laughs> exactly, yes. Um, so we, we went ahead and we, we just made this wiki to uh, basically host all the information that we have, uh, that we need to, do, to, uh, to run this thing. And, uh, yeah. um, and well, we went on and announced it for Seabase. Uh, we got the VOG guys back aboard, that was pretty cool that they were like, oh well, uh, that's okay, I mean, yeah sure, we, we're there, we're in Berlin anyways, you know, and they're just in Marienstraße 11, which is uh, very close, and uh, uh, so we are very, very, very lucky to have these guys aboard, and we were very lucky to have them so close, so it was 
dirt cheap to well get them here for us and that's uh, one logistically of the speaking what logistically speaking exactly exactly yeah because i mean the voc the voc the the video operation crew is basically uh center actually sorry is um is also just a bunch of volunteers that really like what they're doing they they just enjoy using free software uh to make conferences awesome and i think that's wow that's really really amazing uh, I, yeah, I, I cannot thank you guys enough. It's really, it's, um, give it up. It's pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah, a lot of things had to be done. And as I, as I said, you know, um, the, the whole Linux audio conference planning, it led to, you know, people being annoyed. And then we, we kind of, you know, uh, we we just started to really piss people off with this topic in a way. I think some some of them were like, "Oh Jesus, that again," you know. And um, well, so, some of them also didn't have the time. They they were just busy with work and they shifted from one workspace to another or whatever. And you know, a lot of things came together to oh, switch off my computer. What happened? Uh, oh, it's mine. Okay. Doesn't say that it's off at the moment. Is it power off? No, it shouldn't be a screensaver. Oh, okay. Strange. I don't know why that happened. There shouldn't be a separate screensaver on it. Um, anyways, um, so I don't know. It led to just do a, a bunch of manual work as well to uh, well uh, be able to announce this because we had some false information about the the conference and and so on uh, that was still on, on that website and then we had to well deal with all these kind of things that that also i don't know that that were not really streamlined we had a lot of really open uh things we had to <laughs> work out and that's uh keeps getting a bit annoying this blinking right um, anyways um well, you might want to say something about this, I guess. We did so much work there. <coughs> um, during the preparations, we had to uh, restore the sound lab to a working condition again. It was attacked by mold and <laughs> uh, an intense cleaning operation took place. And I think we've, we've done already quite well. You might judge that better than me. You've seen more of these rooms, I, I suppose. But... It works so far, and uh, that was keeping us quite busy, for example. Then, obviously, we had lots of meetings and trillions of mails to respond to, and created our own uh, uh, mail hazard by, by uh, yeah, starting this. You, you just write one mail, and it, it exponentially it grows. <laughs> yeah, the... Uh um, where, to, where to think about what to get here actually and some of it in, in just in respect uh, respect of doesn't really make sense possibly to uh, d drag a full multi-channel setup in here because the, the rooms are not really made for this kind of thing or whatever and I mean it's it's obviously not necessarily a space that you can have a proper A-channel music thing going or something like that you would need external things for that but um uh, again, I'm, I'm quite sure. Um, I'm quite, quite lucky that we have uh, the resources of the electronic studio and, and the, the VOC um, to do this. And um, well, we were setting up this this organization schedule, and I think it's it's kind of different from whatever happened before in a way because there it was internally managed. It's like a you, you, you manage uh, one thing that basically is is the front for this. Uh, conference in a way you are the organizer you organize well everything the whole premises and you have people working on it like or hopefully working on it or you get some people from the community but usually it didn't feel like um the the process was that open yet so we tried this and i think it kind of worked out quite well in a way and to, to just set up a wiki and tell people do your, do your thing, you know? <laughs> Please uh, just... One of these collaboration tools we started using was GitHub as issue tracker. Yeah, that to was To manage nice. all the, the tickets for whatever happened. We just added milestones for the different 
two week phase before, for example, we have a tear down milestone, which will uh, start somewhere in the evening. And that worked quite well. And it's also a nice thing because everybody can check in there and just see the status and see what's, what's up for, for doing. And that helped a lot. And everyone externally can also write some issues, which uh, write it's, issues. It's very that's, public. Yeah. That's really good. That's so good to have in a way. Uh, because there, there are so many things that we couldn't think about that other people then finally thought about. And we're like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I uh, wouldn't the, have thought the, about that. The big advantage of doing this on GitHub was that we didn't need to set up anything on our own. Mm. And that you could, with the ticket system, you can actually yeah reduce the trillions of emails um for example you you just have it entered and there's no need for anyone to to retype this and copy it and send it to someone else that saves a lot of hassle that's true because it's publicly available but again yeah if it's not a closed mailing list or anything you might want to be careful what you write there <laughs> yeah we obviously yeah. couldn't do financial yeah. stuff on there yeah, it's yeah, just true <laughs> Um, well then, again, setting this thing up, setting up the things that you see here, that wasn't so easy. I mean, parts of it is already available, uh, properly installed uh, within Seabase, but uh, as we were using a wiki, not uh, what the VOC usually uses, uh, <laughs> we were, uh, well, f facing some issues and Riot might really uh, want to expand on that, I guess, maybe. Actually, I, I didn't expect that. <laughs> that was quite in my face. We we used this this media wiki as a quick solution to get all the conference content together, get the users to de describe their pages, and then have this in a in a very self creating fashion. We wanted to to make the community create this itself, and the wiki is usually a very good thing for that. But well, yeah, when it comes to the interfaces, the traditional C CCC congresses events use, that's not a good, really good choice. <laughs> they have uh, a rather good conference software in, in effect, which actually uh, takes the work off you. You just click a button and out falls everything you need for the streaming, for the far plan. And usually that's nice. But okay, things are improving, as software does always, so you, you usually need to adapt a little bit every year so to keep the upgrades. Um, but when you're not using uh, one, one of the core components of this one, uh, you're in trouble. <laughs> but I managed to write a very hacky schedule exporter from our um, wiki schedule, so, well, that was uh, mid of last week or something I started. Uh, then had to split this into two parts because different parts of the software you needed another format. Well, you, you see, you've seen it working, <laughs> but oh, not again. Next time we we'll use the package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. We should use the the, the frap uh, that we initially wanted to use. Uh, that would have been a good idea, I guess. But still, that wouldn't have given us all the nice opportunities of setting up. Uh, well, the information or letting letting other people uh, add information themselves that nicely i guess or that oh, fluently oh no no no, no. You, you you don't kill the wiki with, and and replace it no i would no, no. do this concurrently use yeah, both yeah, yeah yeah but but take out the the actual event content lectures from the wiki and put them on into the frap oh by the way uh, there's a note on on this uh, on these slides there are some uh, links hidden in most of the sentences uh, especially if once we progress further into the next topics. Um, well, I mean, after, after you, you know, kind of fumbling these things together, because usually the whole setup that the VOC uses works very nicely, actually, and they, they have a very well-working system. Uh, as it always is, you know, if, if you use only one or two components, <laughs> And not the whole package it might <laughs> not work as expected, <laughs> but um, we were getting around this and um, finally uh, getting these guys aboard and just had to pay the insurance for all the technical stuff that we have here now. Uh, well, obviously we have to take care of the transportation of that, uh, but uh, that's just minor costs basically. Anyways, that's just a short rundown basically on the stuff that we did or that we... Uh, 
There's plenty of more stories, I guess, if you, if you really want to uh, get a full share of the pain, then <laughs> come and ask us later on, I guess. Um, we're not here, you know, to, to bitch about or to, to basically uh, uh, whine about how we could have improved. We could have improved in many ways, everyone could have improved and so on and so forth, but I guess uh, um, working on it, it, it led to some realizations that I, I'm very sure many, many of you organizers already had in the past few years. Uh, oh, I could have done this better, I could have, you know, maybe made this easier and so on and so forth. But most of these things, they uh, unfortunately, they get lost. They get lost because we have this, this setup that is non-stationary. We are not in one place. We're all over the globe, basically. And that is the tricky part, basically. We, we try or we want to maybe help all of us improve this. And, uh, well, these are our suggestions. So we uh, have or I just recently, and I, I was really, I was shocked basically that it was not taken yet, <laughs> uh, have, have set up a, a GitHub group for Linux Audio and uh, uh, well, we are kind of, um, well, we thought why not re redesign the whole thing that we have, that's why I'm, we called this uh, put on some makeup. Um, because obviously we have these 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 websites, but they they you know they they they, they change from year to year. Um, and I, I think back in the day it was a Drupal version that got sp spam hacked or whatever. And then uh, now we just have an HTML version of the whole thing. And in a way, you know, th there's lots of possible improvements. And we'd like to uh, kind of open source this. We'd like to uh, work on this together, and that'd be uh, really cool because then. It's not up to, oh, next guy is going to fix this, you know, <laughs> some few, let some future organizer do this, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here, la la la. Uh, it's, it's all of us basically involved and that's uh, maybe a nice thing. Uh, that's why I'm proposing uh, to, um, well, collectively work on this uh, on GitHub and I, I already um, set up some uh, repositories for the uh, Linux Audio and the uh, luck .linux audio uh, We are also going to push the software and other stuff we created for this event in there so uh, future organizers can reuse this. And we'll also probably set up a wiki with, in there with, with all the documentation we, we aggregated and stuff mm -hmm. and ideas we have. Um, but we invite you to join us and, and edit with us. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Um, we hope you enjoy this because um, w w what I what I found most easy, at least in the, the past few uh, oh, one and a half years, I think, was using Pelican for for developing my own website for well using it to to uh, update the the Linux Audio to Berlin website, and it, I, I found it so nice that I was thinking maybe we could just use that f for that too because it's basically plain text you can write in restructured text, you can write a markdown and just have Pelican generate plain text uh, uh, or just uh, plain HTML from it. And it's super fast. So as for most of the information that is on those websites, uh, it's, it's just uh, informational stuff that rarely changes. So we can just um, have plain text HTML. That's really, it's basically the best thing to do, most likely, and the fastest and... Uh, we should also, I agree, make it secure because we had some hiccups, uh, I think, back in the days. <laughs> and there are always hiccups, but that also, I don't know, it, it comes with, with the process, I guess, of, of giving the key to the next guy. And um, we'd like to, I don't know, get in touch with you and, and, and try to make this, uh, this work more fluently, in a way. And uh, one idea would be to... Uh, for instance, uh, set set up Let's Encrypt for uh, these websites. Uh, that'd be a very good choice, I think. Um, right already set, uh, set it before. Um, we'd like to modularize uh, the, the wiki, the mail, and the, the websites of our former uh, LACs to, well, so some of them, they are already in that shape in a way. Uh, some are still externally hosted. Some are even gone by now, I think. That's a bit unfortunate and we should maybe keep an eye on that because that stuff doesn't get better in a way and if we have still have a, an HTML uh, version of it and if it's just a, a, 
uh, wget uh, just a, a downloaded version of the website that's already pretty nice actually I mean to have uh, for future documentation just oh oh yeah we had these guys as keynotes oh that was so interesting and I, I, I just yeah found it a bit uh, sad that some of the information got lost in a way like the I think uh, the website of the uh, the TU run um, Linux audio conference I think that was that was gone one of one of them was definitely gone and I was like oh wow damn and I, I can try and find it there, but I mean, yeah, these things change a lot. So uh, as we have these servers available, or we have one server available, um, which is really nice that we have this, uh, uh, well, um, uh, this hardware available for, for, for doing the uh, Linux Audio Conference, then we should, I think, use it to um, kind of stash the things there because, uh, um, well, Taking care of the history of it is is as important as working on the future of it, and um, otherwise, uh, yeah, things get lost. Oh yeah, please, please, let's use the frap. <laughs> I think it, it it might really save us a lot of pain. Uh, I mean, using the wiki was nice, uh, as right already uh, intended, but it's it's if it led to so many issues that we had. We had, uh, yeah, to to write our own scripts to you know get these informations out and then it's um, well. I, I wouldn't really focus on that problem. That's that's really not a big deal. Uh, the big deal is that... that <laughs> that's uh, what you're saying now. <laughs> yeah. Because you've done it. I, I wrote the software. <laughs> hmm? Albert, Albert objects. <laughs> um, the, the thing is why, why FRAP is really useful for this style of, of uh, conference is that it's it's implementing all these call for papers algorithms, you'd like uh, get user to, to edit their stuff and clean up and users can can modify their profiles and, and edit everything. And later on, you as an organizer get a nice front end to organize all the content. It's built for huge conferences like the CCC Congress with uh, several thousand visitors and hundreds of hours of content. So it's pretty, efficient at doing that and uh, so it, it supports the organizers very very well and once you're done with your content organization you just literally hit export and you have the, the stuff done for the for the the supporting systems yeah that's very very uh, nice to have actually yeah because uh, frap f r a b yeah yeah for example I it also supports uh, the the english system yeah which is a crowdsourced way of organizing your volunteers. Everybody can pre-register shifts on for, for such a conference and it's, it's tightly integrated with the content schedule. So you can also assign video angels, room angels, and it's, it's completely managed. You don't have to, to set up lengthy stuff. Just enter conference name and there you go almost. Oh, by the way, Robin just said on uh, ISC that the TU website was deleted, but it was mirrored by uh, by the LEC, so that, that's good, good for us, <laughs> still there. But nonetheless, I think one of them was gone. I'm not sure which it was. Maybe, maybe it was the TU, and it's it's back now, and because it's it's mirrored. It's the web. That's good. Maybe it's in the internet archive. Oh yeah, most likely it will be. But but yeah, probably without the there. media content, if there was any. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nonetheless, there, there, there's room for improvement as is always, and there's not like a, a blame thing, it's just a, a suggestion ba basically from our side, just, so just do not take it the wrong way, I hope you don't. Um, with, because, um, well, building this kind of thing and building it collectively is a nice thing, but obviously you need a, a sort of s store kind of of all this information. Um, well, it's... Uh, the, the wiki that we used f for for doing the mini lag was was nice for for we're working on it but also i think a wiki would be really cool to have to store the information on how uh, we actually did this and uh, who is involved and who is to be written to and what to use and so on and so forth and just document the process basically for not not for the conference itself, but for the conferences, for the managers, for the, exactly, for the organizers. Exactly. Not not for just one conference, but kind of find uh, the similarities, finding finding the things that we 
Uh, should we, uh. Maybe you should really think to uh, to use GitHub to build a kind of a checklist. Ah, yeah. Checklist, a wiki, a markdown maybe, a markdown yeah, wiki to yeah. check in into GitHub. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you can collect what you have to do, all the points, maybe two, uh, two styles, a mini lag style, yes. a, a great lag style, and all, all things, just all what, what you have to think, and then link to detail info. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's also a good way of doing that. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, we could actually do template repositories where everything is already set in place. You just fork this, and you go. Um, well, yeah. As I said, just try and document the, the the hard facts, basically, that everyone will have to do. That everyone, I don't know, that everyone kind of has a an easier job of doing this because it's it's not as if. We have this uh, super highly optimized team of uh, volunteers or people that are like, oh yeah, sure, I completely know what I have to do, and it's just, tch, 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 and they just run through the list. But it's it's basically it's nearly everyone for themselves each year, and that's uh, if if you haven't done it before, it's it's a lot of work, it's a lot of learning, and if if you can read up on many many things. Uh, then, then it might get way, way easier for us. Um, oh yeah, I jumped ahead a bit and told you about this before, but yeah, this is quite nice to have too. I mean, it's basically easing up on, on the PR uh, for, for all of us. Um, because there, there are many mailing lists and many websites and so on that, that kind of emerge or have been around for a long time that you can uh, get your information uh, from or to, and uh, that should be kind of involved in in the process. And we forgot uh, about some of them. You forgot about some of them, and it, it happens. But it would be nice to just kind of have a streamlined list of it and be like, oh yeah, sure, I'm just going to write to all of these and do it the same way each year, and that's it. And um, that would, yeah, I don't know, would would make things easier, depending on the country you're in. But still. Uh, Having information about uh, um, a Linux audio conference in some country is better than having none. So, uh, um, yep, that would kind of streamline the whole thing a bit and make things easier for us, I guess. I hope. So, what's all about finding new friends? I guess <laughs> um, we, yeah, would. Definitely suggest to all future uh, Linux Audio Conference uh, organizers to get in touch with the Video Operation Center of the CCC. They do awesome, do an awesome job. They are actually thinking about in the future just shipping their equipment um, with a with an introductory to on how to set this up, just to where to connect stuff, and you know, like like just a, a an IKEA. A, thing, an Ikea table or whatever, and <laughs> they just get you a box f filled with uh, stuff and you just set it up and uh, they log in remotely and do the rest. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be really cool. And it would most likely mean also to be dirt cheap compared to many other things and many other solutions. If you have to rent all of this stuff yourself and then you have to you know, cut and blah, 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 it, it just takes a lot of time, a lot of pro post thing, process. The thing is, they are also very busy. They are cruising around yes. Europe from conference to conference and actually can't keep up with the demand. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the issues, I guess. That's why they're thinking about it. <laughs> Work from home is much nicer there. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, we... Uh, yes? About, wait a second. That's why I want to ask whether you, how much did you pay for that service? Can you disclose that? Uh, well, the VOC uh, is is a bunch of volunteers, and they're kind of so friendly to be here because they like to be here, oh, and we paid great. for the insurance for the equipment. Oh, that's great! Uh, as they are in Berlin, I mean, if if you're not in Berlin, then you have to pay them the, the, well, the flight cost or whatever, the train costs and so on. But well, we are very happy to basically have them here, uh, most likely for free. I mean, Raven, for instance, he is, he is not uh, from Berlin, obviously. He's from, from Switzerland and came here because of the Linux Audio Conference, in a way, and also because he is part of the Video Operations Center. But 
it's um well i don't know you want to comment on that maybe maybe on costs it's it's usually something by the lines of conference pays all the cost the box has insurance mm. um uh, uh, t uh transport um some conferences with budget uh, pay for like accommodation or or or, or, or travel from for the people who, who come from far away or come only for only because of the walk um some don't it's usually 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 something like that and you need to provide angels to mix usually that's that's another part yeah it's very important i guess Thanks again. Um, I don't think any any of the Linux talk if our people are here actually. I invited them separately. We got uh, in touch with them way way too late, but uh, they've been doing apparently a very good job on uh, the system deconf last year, and uh, that also took place here in Berlin and at Beta House. Um, and they might be a very valuable option for at least German organizers uh, to spread the word, to ease up on some of the, uh, well, PR issues one might have. Um, it, it might be an interesting or a very, very valuable partner for the future. Um, so if you're uh, up for that, there's a link. <laughs> and, um, well, I cannot understate this enough. <laughs> Uh, hackerspaces, yes, please, uh, more of that. Um, although Seabase is only a space station with a hackerspace, um, this actually really is a good space for hosting things, I think. And uh, hackerspaces in general have a lot of technical knowledge and things to share. To, to share. It depends on obviously on the hackerspace, not all of them are as big as Seabase. It is uncommon for a hackerspace not to have Linux audio users or developers, kind of. And, and some of them also have large areas that you can actually do a large conference too. Oh well, we're actually reaching the end of things, but you can ask us stuff, uh, write to us, and I think we might have some... Um, uh, questions from the IRC. Let's have a look. Boop, boop, boop. Streaming. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, then, then it's not only it's not only not only uh, a plain issue of well uh, making that available, but also pointing to it. That's a diff also one thing. It would be nice to you know do a package for each new organizer, just to be like, oh, here are the keys. By the way, here's you know get get me your public SSH key, and here's here's the key to the kingdom. Go for it. Here here's all the how tos. Go for it. That'd be really helpful for for each and every one of us, I guess. And um, that is not really uh, a blame or anything. So <laughs> don't don't be offended, please. Uh, Dave, a question. Yes. Um, I very much like how you involved the CCC and the Video Operations Center for this year. This will certainly yes. have offloaded it quite a bit. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to do this in, say, other towns in Germany, like in Karlsruhe, where have been two years ago, mm -hmm. um, the local institute might have their own uh, requirements on having their own, um, what is it called, engineer for doing the cuts, for doing the recording, oh, for okay. embedding their own logos, the, the, the mm -hmm. institute's logo for own archival, maybe even their own media formats, mm. would you be free to choose that if you go with the VOC or do they impose on you what uh, codecs to use, what uh, archival system to use and so I on? I think uh, Raven might be a better person to comment on this. Wait a second. Because uh, he knows these kind of well things. Um, the VOC uses a lot of, of self-built stuff. Like, for example, the, the video mixer you, you see in... The video mix that you see in, uh, in, in the seminar room, that's, that, that's self-written. Um, basically because there was no software mix that could, that could do HD the way we wanted it. Um, and, well, you, if, at the, it, you, 
if you want to use your own format or anything that isn't, we, we usually uh, uh, um, publish uh, MP4s and WebMs uh, in, I think, what was it, H, H264. Um, if you want anything else, you'd have to really motiv motivate the people behind behind the, who, 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 who built the whole setup to change it. I don't think that's going to happen. But, <laughs> yeah. You could remix the stuff, obviously, but uh, you might want to do that on your own then and, and just put a logo on top. I'm not sure about logos. I mean, that, that shouldn't be too, too um, hard. We, we do have, actually, we do do that on the, on the Congress events. That's all, that, that, in the streams, there's usually a logo yeah, at yeah, the top. Sure, sure. I mean, that's, in, in the end, it's, it's just FFmpeg, a, a lot of FFmpeg. So you can do just about everything. <laughs> Okay, I hope that answered my question. Okay. Uh, do we have questions from the ISC, maybe? <laughs> uh, I don't think so either. But, uh, well, we're here all day, basically. Uh, you'll still write to us. Um, Uh, Robin is already asking for maybe uh, <laughs> starting the website. <laughs> well, can we start the work already? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invite you guys to, to that uh, Nux Audio group uh, on GitHub and then we can maybe think about this uh, today. That might be a good idea actually to get the ball rolling because uh, um, yeah, usually that's all that it takes, you know, just uh, the initial bump and then you're going. Are there any further questions, maybe, or suggestions, or or oh, Raven? Has. Maybe just as a side note, to those who are interested, there is a FrostCon talk where where people where people from the rock explain how how the whole the chain works. So if you're interested in that, that may that may be something to look up. No, no, that, that's a recorded talk on FrostCon. Media CCDE and hmm. you'll, you'll find it if you. Two thousand fifteen. I guess. Uh, 15, 14, 15 oh. or 14. Uh, we're we're going to put it up in the wiki and... Uh, oh, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's not that long ago, but it, it was before Congress, I think. So 2015. Probably, then, yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, another question. I just wanted to say, uh, I want to throw in Freiburg for the next luck. So maybe it's interesting for you. Maybe it's interesting for you to do it there, or maybe I could help. Uh, sure, but by the way, you're standing in front of the camera. I'm sorry, but oh. to mention this. <laughs> okay. That was all. That was all. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's great. Um, well, I hope you still enjoyed the whole thing because, uh, I mean, f for us it was an interesting experience doing this and definitely a different one from, from yours, I, I, I agree. And uh, um, nonetheless, it, it, yeah, it would be, would be a very thing, uh, interesting thing to, to share this. Uh, okay, oh, there's, there's Daniel. So got a question? Uh, no, no, not a question. It's more, more, more like about about, uh, about organizing this. And to, okay, we would, uh, well, to... Okay, okay. Let's try to not get a feedback loop. Um, no, it was uh, because since we used like to organize this, we used uh, GitHub and GitHub, GitHub issues to try to like track everything that needed to be done. And uh, the, the other evening, I talked to Will, who um, asked, uh, "Will you, since it's a, it's a public repo with the issue tracking, and like, ah, but will you will you keep this up or such like it's uh, like valuable knowledge to, uh, um, well." To share, or just to see how, uh, well, what kind of issues you run into as an organizer. And okay, I, had, I hadn't I actually, I, I hadn't given the, um, I haven't given given it a second thought about like, like deleting the repo, or whatever. Like that would be a secondary. But uh, it, well, uh, it makes perfect sense to just okay. First of all, keep uh, the issue tracking for organizing. Just keeping that open so that. Well, it's transparent what's happening. Anyone can comment and come with ideas. And also for future organizers, just see like, okay, when organizing this, um, oh, they have a ticket for like 
the coffee machine is on fire or whatever, like these tiny details that you might not think of. Like, uh, since, since the topic is well, Linux audio, then uh, people might think of like, okay, we need this with the machine set up and we need the audio set up, but then, well, all the tiny details for a conference space and like the things that take time and yeah, just, well, has to be done in the end. So uh, keeping an open uh, tra in ticket tracking format and then sharing that, it's, and I think it's a very good idea. Yeah. And well, that, that was my comment. All right, thanks. Uh, anyone else or otherwise we can also finish. Oh, we're really early. That's good for us, I guess. Okay, okay. I hope it doesn't end in a fist fight. <laughs> Anyways, uh, all right. Then, um, well, have fun with the rest of the topics today and uh, see you guys. Thanks. Oh, there's still Albert. Wait a second. I think that we should do this while still on the stream so that we can discuss because oh, okay. Laurent Portier from from uh, the GMU is also in IRC and he wanted to propose as well, but he can't be here unfortunately. And Jan is also leaving today, so he can't be here either. Um, so um, uh, Laurent Portier is a professor there for uh, computer uh, music department uh, the Centre Interdisciplinaire d'études et de recherche sur l'expression contemporaine. Uh, Laurent, I hope I said that right. And um, so they also have the facilities there, of course, and could do conference, uh, both the conferences and the concerts. And they would very much like to do it in 2017 either. And uh, also, and uh, so, if I got that right, we have another proposal. Who was that? From Freiburg. Uh, is that the computer music group there, or the? Uh, so, are you from the institution there? Uh, okay. So uh, you you can't actually commit to that. So um, okay. So. This, um, if anyone wants to ask uh, something about uh, Laurent Portier's uh, proposal, Edgar isn't here this morning. Uh, I think, yeah, I th already thought so because he needs to prepare his stuff. So I'm not sure whether I can. Uh, I'm, uh, that's Saint Etienne. It's uh, it's very close to Lyon, so you can. Uh, Lyon has an international airport, so it can be reached very easily. And then you have about a 40 minutes ride uh, with the fast train to Saint Etienne. So that's very convenient as well. And as I said, they have a studio there, they have facilities, they have a large concert hall, they have lecture halls. Of course, it's a it's a big university, and uh, so. Um, well, that's about all I can say right now because I've been there myself uh, last autumn uh, as, a, as a lecturer um, and it was very nice. They have very good students there. It's a master program there uh, teaching computer music and composition and uh, so the context is right. They're more on the Mac side of things right now, but they use, they use a lot of open source and they're interested to get more into it. And uh, for instance, they do a lot of stuff with PD as well. And uh, so they're very much interested in open source. And so they would very much like to host the conference. So that's about all I can say, but maybe Laurent can comment if I forgot anything important. You can ask him. Would you know a rough date when you would want to hold it? Like later? Uh, Laurent, do you have a preferred date that you can tell us about right now? So when the locations would be available, it's it's more a thing of the having the or the lecture halls and stuff like that available. Usually, that's easier in the semester holidays. And you 
else they're using Faustalot. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot the most important thing. Okay, <laughs> I'm blind on this eye because I always look at Faust. <laughs> so, of course, Faust is also a big thing in uh, at the JMU. Um, uh, so, the date, maybe? Uh, he says it can be in May, so um, it seems like a good good day, good date for us, for all of us, I hope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's going to be warmer. All right. Mm, it sounds like a really good proposal. I, I know uh, for a fact from uh, Edgar Berthal, but he's he's busy in the seminar room at the moment, um, that he also was thinking about uh, at least getting involved with his institute to uh, work, on a, work out a plan. But I guess he's going to come back to us or all of us uh, soon about that. But uh, yeah, he, he might have to watch this talk basically later <laughs> to know what we were talking about. But uh, yeah, the, nonetheless, uh, we're going to keep him in the loop. And uh, but that's yeah, that's LSU, uh, Louisiana State University. So uh, we would have to hop the big uh, ocean, <laughs> the pond. Yeah, yeah, too. Okay. Um, So not, not so much of a question, rather a recommendation. Um, yeah. Again, I very much value how you now try to structure this, maybe even redesign linuxaudio.org, mm -hmm. put things into GitHub repos and, and, divide, and come up with a um, standardized conferencing system. All of this is wonderful and definitely go work on this. Only my personal experience from the last few years was that the few weeks or months before the conference, I'm highly focused and exactly on the day after coming back home, my motivation drops very far down. So <laughs> after the four Karlsruhe conferences in 2003 to six, I was trying a few times hardly to write down all of what I learned, the lessons learned about yeah. it. Yeah. Remember to put down water for the speakers and think about the laser pointer and think mm. about this. All of this I typed down in a local text file and it has yes. a bit rot on my hard disk after that. So it was never published. So my only recommendation is whatever motivation you still have left today, <laughs> Use it immediately <laughs> because in, in three days from now it will be dead. But okay. so thanks for your work so far. This is yeah. very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to try and just uh, already push like a, uh, a standard Pelican uh, project into both of these repositories. So we can or in other so. words, uh, there, there's no barbecue for the after conference barbecue until everyone has dumped his brain into the tracker. Oh, so we're not doing the barbecue? <laughs> no, no, no. We're doing one, but. Uh. That's the rules. Okay. Oh, we, we do have standards. Yeah. Then. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. Um, good. I don't know. if we Are we still keeping the channel open? Um, it seems it's end of April or May, beginning of May, something like that. Um, hmm. All right. Maybe yeah. I can say... I can also say something about the academic stuff. So um, I know uh, the kind of informal meeting we we did this year is a very, very important part of LAC. And it's also a quite unique feature of LAC, which we don't want to lose. The academic stuff, on the other hand side, the, the, the paper session with refereed papers is important for uh, the researchers we want to have on board, which usually uh, they usually have to show something to their boss so that he pays for the traveling and uh, they also need their publications when they want to do their phd so that's a reason to keep that as well the other uh, elements are very important also uh, we might have lost some of the musicians this year because there wasn't a call for music um, and that's something we might want to take up in the future again so um um, it's it, uh, it has all these different elements, but that doesn't mean that uh, everything has to be there every time. So, like we saw this time, it was the developer meeting, and it was nice, very nice, and it still is. So, uh, but I wanted to still, uh, because you said, oh yes, the conference management, that's that's easily done. 
probably I must misunderstood you, but that's an important part. If you have if you have the refereeing process, uh, it bec it becomes unmanageable without a conference management system. Um, and maybe we should. Uh, I think what was the one open conf we were using? Maybe that's a bit old school by now. Maybe we should look at something else. But. That's something to discuss for the next. Like I'm pretty sure that Laurent will will also do uh, an academic session there or a main track, and um, so that we will be facing this problem again. So, okay. Um, uh, just an additional comment to uh, what you were saying. Then. That uh, like okay, with the call to music musicians, and okay, that we that we missed that part, and that's like I guess that's the sort of the point that uh, David has been talking about. That well, having uh, well written down collective knowledge on like this is the things that you shouldn't forget. These are the things you should do, and so like, we got caught up with like lots of details on just trying to get something together and then like lots of things like like oh we, because we were talking about like if it would be like okay can we should we do this a call to papers and stuff but we i don't i can't even remember if we ever said uh, discussed having a call to musicians or so that's like okay that that is a complete fail on our part in that sense but uh, like having a checklist saying these are the things you should consider and There's always so much to do if you organize a luck. It's a real labor of love because you can't be in it for the money as well because we don't have any conference fees. And so uh, there's lots of stuff to do and it always depends on how much manpower you have and, and can uh, bring in. And so some things just fell by the wayside. Uh, but I think I gave you uh, some kind of checklist yes, in yeah, advance, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Okay. That was that was actually also uh, well uh, delegated to all the people involved and so on. But mm. still, I mean, then easily people have I don't know their their own opinion about some things, and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, we need this and that, and then sh uh, suddenly the, the focus shifts and so on. But I, it's not intended yeah. as criticism; just no, 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 as but, a reminder yeah, that yeah. the information is actually there. It happens, yeah. It's not as well organized probably as it could be. But Frank already explained why. I know I dropped that <laughs> yeah. after organizing that and I wouldn't have wanted to touch that wiki for several weeks anyway. So that's always the problem. But I agree with it would be nice to have this in a in a very well structured way. And I also agree with the point of having a package for at least for the newcomers to lack organization. That yeah. would be very useful. Yeah, uh, the way we currently do this is communicate by email, by mm -hmm. the mailing, LACT mailing list, and exchange this information on demand. But if you do it for the first time, you don't even know what to ask for. So exactly, that's the problem. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, you also mentioned one very important thing that we, um, that we thought was valuable to us as well to keep this an open conference, to keep this in spa a space that is, is for free for people and for people to attend to. And because, I mean, as I think I wrote it down in the wiki already, that, that people coming here are actually doing this already uh, on their own. They're not getting paid. They're not getting paid to, to well, attend to this con conference and they're not getting paid for any of the talks or whatever. And they work on free software, which is awesome. And, uh, well, share, share that knowledge. and. I, I really like this process, this open process, and I, I hope we can keep it this way because, uh, well, a dono donation-based system is much nicer than a, well, a fee-based system that we have to adhere to or something. And Oh, that, that actually brings us to the donations. If you still have some money left, please donate. <laughs> donate money. We still have to cover some of the costs. <laughs> there we, I think we're like uh, a one-third there, I guess, something like that. So. That's it's already. We still have the dates. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Oh, he has a question, I think. No. Again, just another statement. So, um, yep. again, the idea of having this, this startup package for new organizers is a good thing. Uh, but just talk to Mark about this. So, it's kind of become a habit that in year X, the organizer, after having done his job, he would try to pass on to X plus one's organizer and just yeah. uh, father to son, secret talk, whispering to the ear what the <laughs> secrets of the luck are. This is, of course... You're going to be Pope now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but I think, okay, this is a bit of sarcasm, but sometimes it's perhaps not so bad if not everything is written down, because if you know the yeah. effort beforehand, you might never have said, yes, we do it. So... <laughs> <laughs> I agree, but uh, I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree a bit on that. It's uh, it's funny. Uh, someone here about he he has the same uh, idea about running the the workshop space downstairs, mm -hmm. and he's like, uh, well, I'm not gonna document this thing. You know, let let people ha hack their hand off with a with a table saw. I don't care. You know, uh, at, at least they will learn something about it. They have to, you know, they they have to be scared of that tool to actually not use it. And uh, yeah, this this kind of uh, mindset, it, it, I think it, it it is kind of valuable. But at the same time, it's also good to really know what you're getting into up, up front, because otherwise you might be, whoa, okay, that, I didn't see that coming. And it might be nice to just you know have a checklist and do okay, well, music, yeah, I mean, live music would be nice, but we cannot really do it. And then you can actually cross check all of these, uh, well possible uh, people or possible institutes and so on and be like, oh, they can do music, they have, well, the full conferencing thing with lectures and, and, and talks and uh, paper presentations and these guys can only do uh, a, a hack, hacker workshop or whatever and that'd be nice to also, you know, have the possibility to be like, oh, cool, maybe we can even do many of them, but that would, yeah. that'd be crazy. <laughs> Can I comment yes. on that? I think the point Frank was trying to make is that you're not on your own. You're, uh, when exactly. You're, yeah. And you have the mailing list and a lot of people... Yeah. Oh, oh. Thanks. Oh yeah, I remember last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even with the best package, Exactly, yeah. 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 And, and even then still, I think I know one or the other former luck organizer in this room who has easily said, yeah, I think we can do it. And a, a few months later then, ah, yes, we'll do it. And later on but. then, never again. <laughs> so, uh, Stefan, this is about, your offer is very kind, but be sure you know the requirements or standards. So uh, it's yeah. more work than you think. What about the uh, idea if, if no, no town would uh, be found? So I would oh, I try see. it. So um, yeah. this is what I can offer. I can't offer to say, yeah, I'm going to do it. Be aware of the kind and, uh, of pain you're getting yeah, into. Yeah, for sure. And uh, <laughs> I would try to um, start to ask uh, different people now. For maybe it's in three or four years. Interesting. So uh, it's not, not a thing that uh, must be happen next year. So yeah. I, I think Freiburg would be a good uh, town. So uh, I'm I'm going to force it a little bit. This is all what I wanted to say. Thank you. Yeah, I know that Om Findal was there for a while, and he's also into Linux, but he's in Frankfurt now. So, he, but you still have the the computer music there uh, group there at Freiburg. Do you need more mic mi microphones? We can get you this one too. I, I got a few people known, so but uh, I have to restart it again. So uh, and look for the people. <laughs> so. Okay. I, I thought we had the discussion started. <laughs> I can pass on the microphone. Any, any other comments? Any other volunteers for coming years? Mark, you surely want to do another like again soon. <laughs> it's always next year. <laughs> just checking while we're here together and maybe any of you have a spontaneous comment on what is still totally wrong about luck so as usual we have no steering committee we have no written down standards we're just somehow evolving from year to year for the past 14 years and things have become tested and tried or maybe thrown away and then restarted again if anyone knows of something he has never seen like why are you not doing Linux audio gaming, why are you not involving video more or whatever? So if you have comments on this, this would be the right moment maybe to share your ideas. Any are there? Raise your hand. Otherwise, we just go on. <laughs> So, yeah, just from the OpenAV point of view, I'm hoping to integrate some more video software and things like that. So, I'd, like, my interest is live performance. The, the software I work on is mostly for live performance. So, like, I hope at some point to be able to show at the lack of video software or video things. 
which would be part of more performance technology on Linux as a platform. So not Linux audio specifically, just audio, but also integrating a range of other things. But from my experience, that's been like the attitude has been quite open to that anyway. And there's been no no opposition to look. You're doing music, Linux audio with other things, to, and that that's then an issue. So yeah, just that, I I do feel like okay, there are actually options already for integrating video or integrating other types of media, with like perhaps with the not being exclusively just some other project that has no real relation to Linux audio. Like if it's it's obviously going to be something that needs to integrate with the rest of the Linux audio community. But that, I think the, the, the community is actually in quite a nice place in that sense, in my opinion. Yes, and as a matter of fact, we've been saying that for a couple of years that it's not only exclusively about Linux anymore, it's about open source and Linux. And of course, there's still a, a, a focus on, on Linux, but that's not absolutely necessary. And uh, well, if it's about media, if it's about music, and uh, using open source software for that, it has a home here. So, okay. um, one, one small point I'd make on that is a matter of not losing uh, identity. Um, it's been known as the Linux Audio Conference for a long time. Don't change the name, even if it includes other things. No, but I, I know, uh, I think it was last year that actu that suggestion was actually made. That uh, I think that was, that was a Richard Stallman uh, thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have this Libre, Libre music thing or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could, but no. <laughs> I also, yeah, I agree. Don't, don't change the name. It's... Uh, Oh no 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 no! Don't 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 start the gender topic here! No no! <laughs> don't 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 don't! <laughs> Better not. <laughs> Maybe for later. <laughs> Maybe the. Oh. Want to have this one? Maybe the battery is empty. Okay. Um. About the name change. We, we had a few attempts to, to make it more audio and video centric. I know that in 2005 or so, I believe the M player development team at that time approached us on Linux Tag, I believe, or 2003 even, and asked whether they could have a sub conference built into the Linux audio developers meeting at that time, I think. Um, we offered, yeah, perhaps we can do it, but in the end, they never talked back to us. We have some kind of the Lumiera team having their private internal meeting inside it secretly, but not showing up, up publicly yet, but maybe they someday do. Um, opening to video is partially happening already, I think, for the last few years, be it just someone doing visuals or being... We had this VJ who was live VJing in Karlsruhe from Italy to Karlsruhe. That was a cool event in 2006, I think. Um, still, I very much like this acronym which has formed over the last six, seven years. Luck is just so short and snappy, so I'd like to keep the name even though we would be opening up more to video, whatever that could be. Um, yeah, I, I agree. I DJs agree. and stuff. Anyone else? We have the constantly hissing microphones. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We, we still have uh, a lot of time to discuss today. If you guys uh, aren't leaving too, too early, then... Uh, Oh, no. and, and also we'll publish the, the issue tracker so discussion can happen afterwards. Oh, that's true. So otherwise we're going to call it quits for at least this talk and uh, have the next one set up. And uh, all right, that's about it. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.